I'm joined by Amani Cheers, an assistant professor of media and public affairs at George Washington University. I know you didn't make it to the finish line. Many people do not, but I know you watched a lot of this. Yes. Uh, lots of controversy. Yeah. Chris Rock uh, took it on head on right off the bat. Some people seem to be squirming in the audience. What's your take on what he had to say? Yeah, I think Chris Rock did an excellent job. He wanted to make people squirm. You couldn't have um, an African-American host address, you know, not address these issues that were so, so relevant. So, I mean, he came out and his first joke was, you know, the Academy Awards or otherwise known as the White People's Choice Awards. I mean, he was no holds bars. And I think that's what we needed. You really can't have such a major issue um, about the lack of diversity in the nominations um, and not address it head on. He even said as a host, he wouldn't have been nominated. No, not, gonna, he would not have been selected great, if, yeah, if they were doing exactly. nominations. It would have been Neil Patrick Harris, which I thought was great also. It was a very, very funny line. He had a lot of good funny lines. Um, Winners, upsets, surprises, as you were watching, what, what struck you? Yeah, well, you know what? First of all, I'm so excited for Leonardo DiCaprio. He has been nominated so many times before, and to finally come through with such a compelling and amazing role um, as he did in The Revenant, that was just a, an amazing film. I loved his speech about uh, climate change. I thought it was excellent. Um, totally not surprised about Spotlight, another phenomenal film. Um, as a journalist and a journalism instructor, I, I love films that talk about unearthing some sort of wrong against humanity and the way this one does dealing with the the Catholic Church and sex abuse scandal is amazing um, really shocked though about Sylvester Stallone um, he was definitely the the front runner and he did really an amazing job in Creed to sort of literally reinvent himself in the same character over 30 years later I just thought was really amazing um, and he walked away empty-handed I think everyone was pretty surprised you know one of the films I really liked this year which didn't get a lot of nods was Trumbo because it, yeah. it was aimed at Hollywood and I totally. think it kind of shows some of the problems Hollywood has, not just with diversity, but oh, with, with it even looking at itself critically. Um, one of the things that I thought was interesting, the Washington Post had a headline that read, if the Oscars were all about diversity, why the crude Asian joke? Uh, yeah. Which fell flat. Um, it was a joke that Rock had about these three little uh, kids. In yeah, fact, uh, bankers. It didn't yeah. go over as well as he wanted. And it, with any comedian, I think you're going to find some jokes that fall flat. That was a big one. And and, and I do understand you know, the why it was. It Re, you know, resonated with so many people as being as being sort of crude. Um, don't pick on the other minority group as the minority group in the room, which was kind of the gist of that article. Um, and the reality is that Chris really focused on um, the lack of African American actors, but we failed to mention that the lack of of Asian actors um, and and their acknowledgments as well as Hispanic actors has also been really dismal in in previous years. In fact, uh, there were several tweets about that joke, uh, it, joking about Asian stereotypes and child slavery. Slave labor yeah. did not garner a laugh from me. Um, and then somebody else saying, that did that appalling joke about Asian kids really happen? Um, again, getting back to diversity, Sam Smith made a very emotional speech saying he was the first openly gay right. winner of an Academy Award. Again, I think it kind of really, there was a, a major focus in the show about African Americans. Right. But, but the Academy has a big problem with a lot of different groups, don't they? They definitely do. And Chris posed a really great question last night. Is Hollywood racist? And he threw that out there to the audience and then answered it like defiantly. Yes, they are. So I think it definitely touched on a lot of these larger overarching issues, GLBT, um, Q, like, you know, their representation in Hollywood. And I think it's really important that we discuss everyone like being all inclusive but it's similar to the concept with like black lives matter versus all lives matter you can address the lack of diversity focusing on one particular group in particular african americans um, without necessarily shunning other minority groups who also don't get the recognition they deserve in hollywood i, I saw an interview i think it was with michael keaton where he said uh it's not necessarily that they're racist, it's just that they're old. That, you know, we, we need to get younger people in there voting and stuff. Do you think that's one of the answers? Because they're talking about answers, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of real concrete right. solutions out there. Well, I think they're, they're working on solutions, and, and I do know with the new Academy um, president, um, Cheryl Isaac Boone, they're, they're definitely doing things that they can to move forward. And she came out and gave a very, very compelling um, a speech, a little moment, talking about the things that they are. They're acknowledging that they need some change. They're going to work. But at the end of the day, it's a lot larger than the Academy Awards, right? We need to go back and look at in the casting rooms. We need to look like who's behind the scenes, writing, directing, producing. Then we can really start to see some change in Hollywood. He had a very funny line about Wanda Sykes, too, which was, got me <laughs> laughing. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank really you for appreciate it. Me.